The anticipation surrounding the Sony FX32 is palpable, and this isn't just hype or wishful thinking. It is grounded in credible leaks, insider discussions, and regulatory filings that all point to a Mark II version actively in development. Industry insiders widely speculate that the camera will launch toward the end of 2025, potentially making it one of the most anticipated cinema camera releases of the year. What makes the FX32 particularly intriguing is Sony's clear opportunity to address the limitations of the original FX3 while advancing the design into a new era, where compact cinema cameras are expected to deliver more versatility and professional-grade performance than ever before. The original Sony FX3 quickly established itself as a favorite among creators thanks to its compact form factor, cage-free design, and excellent low-light performance. However, despite its popularity, some filmmakers considered it somewhat incomplete for high-end professional use. The absence of features such as internal RAW recording, open gate capture, and advanced exposure tools limited its appeal for some content creators. The FX3 too, if the rumors hold true, is poised to go beyond a mere incremental upgrade. Instead, it could redefine the compact cinema camera segment, combining portability with high-end capabilities that rival much larger cinema systems. Sony seems determined to carry forward the design philosophy that made the FX3 so successful while implementing refinements aimed at improving usability. The FX3's cage-free approach to mounting accessories was a major highlight, and the FX3 II is expected to build on this strength with sturdier mounting points and improved weather sealing allowing it to better handle demanding shooting conditions. Additionally, subtle ergonomic changes, such as improved button placement and refined grip design, could make the FX3 too easier to operate during long, intensive shoots, further appealing to professional users. Cooling has been an area of particular discussion in the leaks. The original FX3 used an internal fan to manage heat, which worked well but could become distracting in quiet recording environments. The FX3 II might introduce a more refined cooling system, potentially with a quieter fan or even a fanless design, which would be particularly valuable for documentary filmmakers, solo operators, and other creators who need silent operation. Similarly, rumors indicate that the FX3 may second feature a fully articulating LCD screen inspired by Sony's newer Alpha cameras. This screen would tilt flip, and rotate freely, enabling flexible framing and monitoring without interference from mounted cables or accessories, which is especially useful for run-and-gun operators or solo creators. One of the most exciting possible additions is the integration of built-in ND filters. Traditionally, these are found only in larger cinema cameras, requiring bulky external accessories. Incorporating internal ND filters would allow filmmakers to adjust exposure quickly and efficiently without additional gear, making workflows far more streamlined, particularly for indie and documentary productions. These features would enhance the FX32's appeal for content creators who need professional capabilities in a compact, portable form factor. In terms of imaging performance, Sony is rumored to move beyond the FX3's 12.1 megapixel sensor. The FX3 II is expected to feature a 6K sensor, which would provide a significant increase in detail while maintaining practical file sizes and preserving the FX3's excellent low-light performance. This resolution strikes a balance between flexibility for post-production cropping, compositing, or downsampling, and maintaining manageable data rates. Some speculation even hints at the potential inclusion of a global shutter, which would eliminate rolling shutter artifacts entirely, a major advantage for sports, action, or drone cinematography. However, global shutter implementation could come with trade-offs, particularly in terms of dynamic range, so it remains less certain. Even if a global shutter is not included, faster sensor readouts and increased frame rates are expected, ensuring that high-speed action can be captured with minimal distortion. Autofocus on the FX3 II is expected to see a significant leap forward, with AI-driven subject recognition borrowed from Sony's high-end Alpha series cameras. Advanced face 
I, and subject tracking would adapt dynamically to unpredictable conditions, making it easier for solo operators to achieve precise focus without the need for a dedicated focus puller. This is particularly important for filmmakers who shoot fast-paced events, interviews, or action sequences. The inclusion of intelligent autofocus would allow creators to maintain focus with confidence, reducing the number of missed shots and improving overall efficiency on set. Two rumored features stand out as potential game changers for professional users, internal RAW recording and open gate capture. Open gate recording would allow the full three, two sensor area to be utilized, giving creators maximum flexibility to reframe, crop, or repurpose footage across multiple formats without losing quality. Internal RAW capture would eliminate the need for bulky external recorders, allowing filmmakers to maintain a compact rig while still capturing high-quality, professional-grade footage. These features alone would elevate the FX32 from a lightweight cinema camera into a serious tool for high-end productions, streamlining workflows while maintaining uncompromising image quality. Audio is another area where the FX32 could see significant enhancements. The camera may support 32-bit float audio through Sony's XLR modules, ensuring clean, distortion-free recordings even in unpredictable or high-noise environments. Filmmakers could also benefit from in-camera audio tools such as false color monitoring, stronger LUT integration, and preloaded cinematic LUTs optimized for S-Log3 workflows. These features would allow creators to produce polished, broadcast-ready footage straight out of the camera, further bridging the gap between compact cinema tools and larger, more cumbersome systems. Overall, the FX32 appears to be shaping up as much more than a refresh. It is positioning itself as a statement piece in Sony's compact cinema lineup. With these potential upgrades, Sony seems ready to address the increasing competition from brands like Panasonic and Blackmagic, offering a camera that delivers both portability and uncompromised performance. The FX32 is rumored to combine innovative tools with practical design improvements, aiming to provide a compact system capable of professional-level results for demanding productions. The potential of the FX32 goes beyond hardware specifications. Sony appears acutely aware of the evolving needs of content creators. Modern filmmaking isn't just about widescreen cinematic imagery. It also includes vertical, square, and multi-platform content. By incorporating features like open gate recording, internal RAW capture, and flexible workflow options, the FX32 could cater to creators who need versatility without compromise. This makes the camera ideal for a wide range of professionals, from documentary filmmakers and solo shooters to commercial producers and indie directors who need one tool to handle multiple production demands. For existing users of Sony's E-mount system, the FX3 may second feel like a natural progression, blending familiarity with meaningful innovations. For filmmakers outside the ecosystem, it could provide compelling reasons to transition to Sony, offering a compact yet highly capable alternative to larger cinema setups. By closing the gaps left by the FX3, the FX3 too has the potential to redefine what it means to work with a small format cinema camera, offering mobility, professional features, and workflow efficiency in one package. In conclusion, the Sony FX3 II is shaping up to be a defining leap in the world of compact cinema cameras. Where the FX3 offered portability and low-light performance, the FX3 II appears ready to close existing gaps, providing advanced features such as internal RAW recording, open gate capture, built-in ND filters, AI-driven autofocus, high-resolution audio, flexible monitoring, and enhanced ergonomics. This combination of professional tools and thoughtful design could make the FX32 an essential choice for creators seeking a compact, versatile, and truly capable cinema camera. Its arrival could mark a new benchmark in the industry, solidifying Sony's position at the forefront of the compact cinema camera market.